Hey, welcome to this uh, Windows 8 channel and uh, we are having a little discussion. I get a lot of questions about people that tell me, you know, they're scared for one thing. They're kind of scared to know that uh, Windows 10 will be pushed to all Windows 8 users for free. And uh, many questions come up from a lot of people. Uh, will it be something that's going to happen overnight and you'll be booting your computer into Windows 10 one morning or uh, and what you know what what's good about Windows 10 what will Windows 10 do that Windows 8 can't or you know I get all these questions from my clients and from a lot of you out there that send me uh, private messages and comments so first of all um, the launch date seems to be right now um, end of July 2015. So it seems that midsummer is going to be the point where we're getting Windows 10. It's an unusual time, you know, midsummer is kind of that time where it's rather quiet. But there's, um, you know, one one reason maybe that when Microsoft wants to make that Windows 10 summer is because they know they'll be getting the back to school computer sales. Um, back to school is the biggest time of the year for computer sales. It's uh, even bigger than Christmas, apparently. So it means that I think Microsoft is trying to push Windows 10 before we get to the back to school uh, computer buying season. So anyone that wants to buy a computer uh, for Windows, for, for the, the um, you know, back to school time, uh, in, f in the fall, in September, uh, can wait. Or, uh, you know what? Personally, I'm not really sure you have to wait. Uh, you'll just have a free upgrade anyway to Windows 10 for any, any Windows user. So, yes, once again, a lot of people aren't sure and ask me the question again and again. Windows 8, Windows 10, sorry, will be free for one year to all Windows 8.1 and Windows 7 users. So all of you will have a possibility to go to Windows 10. How is that going to happen? Uh, it's going to happen via a update. So it's going to be a Windows update. And Microsoft has been quietly um, preparing our computers for that. And they actually get a lot of bad uh, comments. A lot of people have been complaining that, you know, uh, it's not fair. You don't tell us that you know you're putting files on our computers so that they push Windows 10. Uh, yeah, in Windows 8 and in Windows 7, um, some of the updates that are that have happened and that are coming in the next months are going to be, um, you know, to prepare the Windows 10 upgrade. So, from what we know. You'll have some kind of little pop-up message. You're going to say, hey, you can upgrade to Windows 10 for free. Uh, click here for more details. And so you'll be asked if you want to go to Windows 10 or not. Um, a lot of people will uh, told me, well, you know what? That's kind of seems, sounds complicated. Well, one thing that I can tell you is that Microsoft did a fantastic job for the upgrade of Windows 10. And it's one of the easiest Windows install I've ever seen and you know what I don't think you really need the tech guy to do it I think you can try it on your own it's not that complicated it will only ask you if you want to upgrade so you do you say yes it's gonna keep your files it's gonna keep most of the programs that are compatible uh, especially if you're on Windows 7 and so you shouldn't lose usually anything but of course, when you do an update, come on, you have to back up your files. Don't go crazy because something went wrong, you lost everything. It's not Microsoft's fault if you don't back up. You have to back up. Everybody needs to back up. I, I still don't understand why people keep stuff on their computers and don't back it up somewhere else. Because, you know, if your hard drive, cr hard drive crashes, you lose everything anyways. Uh, so it's an easy update. It's an easy upgrade. 
Uh, it's going to take probably, depending on the machines, you know, from like half an hour to an hour, an hour and a half, depending on Windows 7, Windows 8 machines, depending on the speed of the computer and so on. Now, the question I get asked also very often is Windows 10 better than Windows 8? Here's the little catch here. If you are using a mouse and keyboard desktop, that means no touch. Yes, Windows 10 is light years ahead of Windows 8. It is what Windows 8 should have been. Back to a start menu with, um, you know, programs. And, of course, apps are there. But the difference is that in Windows 8, apps seem to be in a separate world. It's almost as if you have two windows in one. In Windows 10, it's fully integrated. So apps and programs seem to be in the same operating system. Apps can run on the desktop, not just in the app form, you know, like in Windows 8. So it's really cool for that because they've really, really integrated both worlds in a very, very nice way. Um, the problem right now, but you know, we're still three months away, is for touch users. I've got a touch tablet, an 8-inch tablet. And I installed Windows 10 on it. And I must say that the Windows 8 experience, you know, that start screen here, is actually fantastic for touch devices. And in Windows 10, they kind of broke that. The touch interface in Windows 10, as of build 10,061 in April 2015, okay? We're still in the early uh, builds of the technical preview, but for now, the touch interface is kind of broken. One of the comments I get a lot from users is, um, why didn't they keep that start screen with the apps because I like it on my device? Uh, that's a good question also. You know, I ask myself the same thing. That start screen is actually very good. And if you have a touch device in Windows 10, I think that start screen should be a possibility if you want to go there. And if you want to use your computer for that. But that said, you know, Build 10061 did improve upon the touch experience of Windows 10. So, you know, maybe when we get that final version and the, at the end of July, it's going to be okay. So, you know, for now, it's a half and half. Yes, Windows 8, Windows 10 is great compared to Windows 8. If you have a mouse and keyboard or a non-touch laptop, it's fantastic. But if you have a, um, you know, touch device, for now, I can't really say, yeah, you should because it's fantastic. It's not really fantastic for touch users right now. But I hope it's going to improve because I think Microsoft needs to do it right the other questions, uh, is there going to be a version of Windows without apps? No, nope. and there'll never be a Windows version without apps in the future. People that, you know, tell me I'll never upgrade if there's apps. Well, you'll never upgrade ever, 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 because apps are there to stay. And actually, most of the people that leave these comments never tried apps and don't even know what they're talking about. And that is just the funny thing about YouTube videos. The amount of crap that people just write and are just so dumb uh, is amazing. And uh, you know what? If you haven't tried it, don't even leave a comment. I don't care what you think. But if you've tried it and you don't like it, then okay, tell me what you don't like about it. But you know what? Apps in Windows 10 are much better because they are... They run on the desktop, you can minimize, you can have uh, full screen. They do act more like regular programs. It, they're not as complex to use because you don't have a charms bar type interface to interact with the apps and so on. So it's kind of better. You know, the experience is better on apps for Windows 10 if you use a desktop or a, a non-touch device. Um, 
and apps are frankly very easy and I do get a lot of positive a lot of people say well I like apps I love apps and you know what they're easy to use and they're really much easier than that old style you know setup you click that setup and you go into these complex install uh, you know it is much better it's easy you just go to Microsoft Store and you install whatever you want it's not complicated uh, another thing also that will be really cool in Windows 10 is the possibility to uh, install apps on a, a different drive or an SD card. So if you have a tablet, like my tablet is very, very low on uh, storage. It only has 16 gigs of main storage, but I have a 32 gig um, SD card, micro SD card. In Windows 10, you can take apps and install them in the SD card if you want. So it doesn't take space on the main drive. So these are all little things that are fantastic. Performance-wise, is Windows 10 better than Windows 8? I'd say it's close. It's probably a little faster, maybe. But um, let's say it's pretty much the same. Okay, um, I, I would say that it's... Uh, because I, I can't really compare it for a main reason, and nobody can is unless you have a really clean installed brand new Windows 8 machine and a really clean installed brand new Windows 10 machine that now you can actually compare the speed but you know I have a Windows 8 machine that's two and a half years old that's I have installed hundreds and hundreds of software removed a lot of stuff it's probably the registry is bloated and everything uh, from what I see and from what I try to remember uh, Windows 10 is at least as fast as Windows 8 and maybe even more. One thing also, it's not bloated. It's not bigger because the requirements for Windows 10 are the same that you have for Windows 8. Meaning that older computers are going to you know, upgrade. If your Windows 7 machine can't upgrade to do 8, well, it will upgrade to 10. There's no, no problem there. And you know what? Um, someone on my Windows 10 channel uh, told me that he's installed Windows 10 technical preview on a Pentium 4 machine and he says it works fantastically well so it gives you an idea that Windows 10 is actually very small and from what I've heard the code and the actual Windows itself is actually smaller than Windows 8 so it actually is much more uh, optimized and uh, probably will run faster so these are all things you know and what else can I say if uh, you know that can send you to Windows 10 um, you know better experience for non-touch as fast if not faster operating system uh, you'll have the latest technology and um, it's free you know why not go the way and don't be scared. You don't need a tech guy to install this update. You can do it yourself. You'll be able to do it yourself. So that's pretty much what we uh, have to say right now as of April 2015. And uh, the only negative side, like I said, if you have a touch device, for now the experience is not fantastic. Um, they actually took what was fantastic, this star screen, and broke it. Uh, hopefully they'll fix it and have better um, experience. One of the things also that's going to be nice, that's going to be brand new also in Windows 10 is the fact that the updates are going to be more frequent because not only will you have the regular patch Tuesday for security, but Microsoft built Windows 10 in a way that it can be updated and improved, meaning that as you use it, Every month you'll have updates that actually make your experience better, improves speed, improves all sorts of little details around Windows that maybe at first you won't like, and then they'll change it. So uh, that's also something that's interesting. And it's a new way of actually updating Windows, something that they've never done before. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what I've just said, maybe you have your own idea of what you'd like in Windows 10. Um, 
and a lot of people actually you know in the comments in the past few videos that i've posted told me that they would go to windows 10 even uh, you know a, a good number of windows 7 users told me yeah you know what it's free why not i i would i would upgrade to windows 10 that's interesting it's interesting to read about that so um if you have any problems any features of windows um, 8 10 whatever that you want us to talk about maybe make a video let us know and we'll try to post that video online so thank you for watching and hope to see you again bye bye